Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. Come in. Oh, excellent. I'm actually filming. Right, we were actually filming. Oh, look at this. Cup of tea. Thanks, babe. Let's just put that over there. So this is the August update of the single stroke roll resolution. And if you haven't been following along on the 1st of January this year, uh, this tumultuous year, I decided that I was going to set a goal for myself to be able to play a single stroke roll at 200 beats per minute trad grip um, by the 1st of January, 2021. And every month I update you on where I'm at. And so this is the August update. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos I've done on this topic, please feel free to start at January and um, continue on from there. It's under the heading of, I think, single stroke roll resolution. Anyway, check it out. So this is the August update. It, it's been fairly, how do I put it, uh, revealing. I've had uh, a number of revelations um, and, and those revelations are really the result of me just d diving in and trying to work out what the problems are because I've hit a brick wall. You know, I've gotten up to about 180 and, um, you know, on a good day I can play it at 184. And I know that isn't fast for a lot of you folks out there, but it, for me, um, it, it, is, it is kind of um, my limit at this point. And so what I've been doing is really trying to figure out why and, and uh, you know, why I, I've got to this point and can't get any further. And also, what can I do about it? You know, it's, it's, it's one thing to find a problem, but it's also more important to find a solution or a remedy or a cure for that problem. And in the last couple of days, um, I've realized that, you know, my weakness is obviously my left hand. So to quote Peter Blick, who's kind of mentoring me through this, this process, I heard him say at a clinic once that your technique is only as good as your weak hand. And I think I've mentioned that in a previous video. So, um, you know, it's one thing to be able to, you know, play at that speed with your right hand, but if you've got a sloppy weak hand, then the attention needs to obviously go on that weak hand. And I'm going to admit that that's one thing that I haven't been doing as part of my practice routine, really up until about two days ago. Um, when I talk about my practice routine, I'm talking about this specific single stroke roll journey that I'm on. So yesterday, for the first time, I practiced uh, the singles routine exercise, which I've talked about in a previous video, uh, which I'll also link below in the description. You know, that's an important aspect of practice is always to focus on that weaker hand so that I can develop some sp some strength and some speed, similarity of sound between uh, that and my right hand. And so uh, that's a really good exercise to check out. So go and check out that video. The, the other thing I've been working on is just really trying to figure out why I'm not getting a lot of um, endurance from using my fingers. So there are a few things in the process at the moment that I'm trying to improve. And one of the things is that I've realized through my analysis of what my left hand is doing that using, say, that finger only That's a weaker finger than that finger, pardon the expression. So I'm working on developing the middle finger. And that feels easier to play, even though it's a little further away from the fulcrum. And so therefore it has to work a little harder. It's actually easier because it's a stronger finger. So I'm trying to get those fingers to work together rather than just pulling that big finger away or that middle finger away and just relying on the index finger to control the stick. I'm trying to introduce that. And it makes a huge difference. So that's a work in progress. There's another exercise that I've introduced. I've only just been doing this for a few days and it's to get my left hand moving in a molar movement or a molar type movement with a group of two. And I'm using a Jojo Mayer approach to this, which is this.
So as I rotate my wrist to the right or clockwise, that gives me my accent. And then as I move back, it gives me my non-accent. At this point, it feels very uncontrolled and very mechanical, but I'm working on that. The idea is that I can play groups of twos in amongst the threes and fours that I've been working on. The three note groupings. And the four note groupings. So I'll add the two note groupings to those three and four note groupings. I've also made some changes to the way I'm practicing my finger technique in terms of the exercises that I play. Again, this is pretty new and it's a work in progress. So um, I will give you an update on that and, and I'll go into some detail on that in the next month's uh, of single stroke roll update, which is September. You know, again, it's a revelation. I'll just, I'll, I'll basically explain this, right? So let's say I'm playing um, groups of eight with each hand uh, using my fingers. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna play this at 184. If you think about what's going on there, every time my right hand plays, my left hand rests. And the longer that group becomes, so if it becomes a 16 note grouping, then what happens is that while my right hand's playing, my left hand gets to rest and vice versa. So the idea is to increase the workload on the hands by not allowing the hands to rest. So for example, if I'm playing uh, a group of seven, The idea would be to turn that into a single stroke roll so that the opposite hand is filling in. So we go from this to this. And then we do the same starting with the left hand. So that exercise would sound like this. So I'll go into more detail with that in next month's video and I'll also have an accompanying PDF for that. But for now, uh, it's just a work in progress. I'm kind of developing the exercise and a series of exercises that were uh, explained to me by Peter Blick himself. So suffice to say that the practice routine is constantly changing depending on what, what I feel needs working on. And right now it's really just trying to get this left hand to be behave in a way that's a little closer in speed and sound to my right hand. So there's a lot of focus and attention going towards the weaker hand, which as I said, it was, it's something I wish I had have actually incorporated when I first started this uh, this whole journey. So that wraps it up for this month's update. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm really interested to get your feedback too. I've been getting some really interesting feedback and suggestions and advice, and I really like it. You know, I really love the community, um, the, you know, the community aspect to all of this. It's, 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 it's really wonderful. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. I'm uploading videos every week, so make sure that you hit that notification bell also so that you know when I've uploaded a video. Until next week and until next month, happy drumming, happy practice, and uh, see you all soon. Bye.